Tommy yells for her because, of course, she screams for him, but then she ends up beating off the monster. Oh, wait, no. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today, we're exploring the 26th episode of the show, Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 181st episode overall, titled Game of Honor. We begin this episode in the forest where Adam is running away from something that we don't exactly see, and then ninjas in black are running after him, fighting him. This scene really shows off that Johnny Young Bosch is an incredible martial artist who needs to do fighting all the time. Then Adam finds a little cog on the ground and the ninjas come up, taking off their masks, and it's literally the other rangers. I guess he's training for a kung fu tournament. Adam shows them the cog on the ground and it glows. They decide to take it back to the power chamber to give to Billy. In space, Clank and Orbis see this and they're worried that the Power Rangers are going to be finding out what they're going to be doing, which is going to ruin their plan. They're going to launch an attack with battleships and they're letting the Admiral know that Sprocket is going to steer. Also, Machina calls Sprocket their first built son. Spoiler warning, that's not correct. At the power chamber, Billy is examining the metal and Alpha says that they're not from any metal on Earth. Zoran says that it must be from Mondo, and Alpha says that the power is coming from an outside source. They're confused as to what this medallion even does. Meanwhile, Adam is training, and Tanya is watching, totally into him. Like, really into him. Then, Sean shows up, introducing Veronica, his new girlfriend, to Tanya. He asks if she's going to join the football team now, too, and she says, I just might, but for today, I'm lending moral support to Adam. Man, Tanya's like the best. Adam then comes over, and Sean boasts about how he's going to be using a secret weapon that once it's all over... They might even make him a Power Ranger. Tanya then explains that Adam's secret weapon is called Honor, and Veronica rolls her eyes. Adam and Tanya leave the two behind. At the detective agency, Stone tells Vulcan Skull to take a seat. Apparently trees have been disappearing from the Angel Grove National Forest. He wants them to go find out what's going on. Skull jokingly suggests beavers, but like, yeah, wouldn't it just be an animal? We're back at the beach and Adam is training some more, and Veronica and Sean are watching on. Not impressed with Adam's moves. Then we cut back to the forest where Bulk and Skull are dressed up as trees walking around. They find a metal medallion on their own, going over to it. Fight over who has to touch the thing before cogs surround them, getting Skull's attention. Bulk then grabs a medallion and we're introduced to our monster of the week, Admiral Abominator. He commands that the cogs kidnap Bulk and Skull, throwing them into the brig. At the power chamber, Billy, Tommy, Rocky, and Cat are talking about the medallion. Then Billy explains that the medallion has energy for a purpose. Then he just turns invisible. He then reappears and it's an invisibility shield. Tommy asks what happens if someone gets a hold of one. Smash cut to Sean having one. He then shows off how it works with a kick and it's hilarious to think that he doesn't think that he'll be disqualified for this. Bulk and Skull have also been kidnapped and Skull is playing the harmonica. Billy then says that the scanner is ready and he engages it, showing Rocky, Tommy, and Cat ships that are in the forest. Zoran says that Mondo must be making his own armada. Then the alarms go off and they see that Bulk and Skull have been kidnapped. Tommy then says that if the medallions come from a main source, they should be able to then just destroy the main source. Billy is going to use the disruptor beam for this. Tanya and Adam then arrive and Tanya says how Adam just made it to the final round and he's up next. And Tommy assures him that we'll be back in time. It's morphin time! The five arrive near Bulk and Skull and they save Bulk and Skull waking them up. They run away. Billy then tells Alpha to set the disruption ray to some exact coordinates. And Alpha fires it from the top of the command center, which is apparently a thing, and then it hits something on the machine Empire, causing them to blow up the ships, I guess? Whatever, Sprocket is mad, so Mondo sends down cogs to fight the Rangers. The Rangers take them on with some cool martial arts, except for Cat, who just uses a bucket of water. Then Admiral Abominator comes running in, trying to crush Cat in his chest while firing at the others. Tommy yells for her because, of course, she screams for him, and then she ends up getting away from the monster. Orbis and Clank then show up, making him giant. The Rangers call out their Zeo Megazord and the Red Battlezord fighting Admiral Abominator. I mean, man, the Red Battlezord is insane with its punches. Cat then uses her battle helmet for a bit before they form the Mega Battlezord, firing at the monster over and over again, blowing him up into nothingness. Of course, we get the obligatory scene of Mondo and Sprocket being mad that they lost. At the Kung Fu tournament on the beach, we see some dweebs fighting. Also, Bulk and Skull are there, and Bulk is wrapped up like a mummy because when they were in the trees, Bulk used poison ivy somewhere on him. Stone is there and he asks how they got out and uh, they lie saying that they got out of their cage with brute force. Sean and Veronica are about to go up and Sean gives his secret weapon to Veronica telling her that he'd rather win without the secret weapon. Also Tommy looks like the biggest douchebag ever and Tanya calls Adam sweetie. I'm sure it's platonic but like my god I want them to be in a loving caring relationship until they grow old together. Adam and Sean then fight and Adam immediately gets the first point. Then Sean gets the next point hitting Adam on the ground. They fight again and Adam gets another point. Honestly, I didn't realize that the guy who plays Sean could actually do real martial arts. Speaking of which, Sean gets another point. The next point wins. 
Can you guess what's going to happen? Of course you can. It's Power Rangers. Adam wins. Adam goes over to the others getting hugs. Sean then walks over and he apologizes for acting like a complete douchebag earlier. He apologizes to both Tanya and Adam and they're friends again now and Sean and Tanya hug and Adam jokingly says, all right, break it up, which is really implying that they're already dating. Maybe this is just like my inner shipper coming out that I didn't know I even had in there. The end. This episode is nice because it actually hits on a lot of previous things in the season. I mean, they remember that Tanya and Sean were even dating, and it's interesting to see the aftermath of Sean and Tanya's breakup from way back in like episode six. Also, Adam and Tanya have been spending a lot of time together, and whether or not I think that they're actually dating or whatever, they've been consistent with it from the start that Tanya is at least really good friends with Adam for whatever reason. Other than that, it's an overall decent episode of Zeo, which I kind of feel like has been a bit of a rarity lately, but... Next time, something big is coming. But until then, may the power protect you.